Welcome to Script Learners. I hope you are doing well. In today's video, we're going to discuss a very interesting problem that was asked in Cognizant Coding round. So it was a Java based round. So we will be solving this problem in Java. So let's discuss about the problem. So here the problem statement is that we are given a list of numbers separated with commas. The numbers 5 and 8 are present in the list. Assume that 8 always comes after 5. Okay, so here we have to assume that uh, like there is a list of numbers where there will be two numbers that will be surely present that is 5 and 8 and 8 will always come after 5. So this is something that will remain constant uh, in every test case. So here we have two cases first is like uh, okay so here num1 we have to calculate this number so the case note is add all numbers which do not lie between 5 and 8 in the input list okay and the num2 numbers formed by concatenating all numbers from 5 to 8 in the list okay so here what we have to do is let's take this example so here we have given the list of numbers that is three two six five one four eight nine so what we have to do is we have to calculate uh, two numbers so here num in num1 we have to do what we have to do is we have to calculate the sum of those numbers which do not lie between five and eight so here we can see there are four numbers which do not lie between 5 to 8 that is 3 2 6 and 9 so we will simply add all these numbers so at the end we will get num1 so in num2 what we have to do is we have to concatenate the numbers that are uh, between 5 to 8 including both 5 and 8 numbers so here we have uh, these four digits 5 1 4 8 so basically 1 4 lies between uh, this range so we do not have have to uh, calculate the subtotal of these numbers we just have to concatenate them in such a way that it forms uh, a continuous number like 5 1 4 8 here we did not calculate the sum we simply concatenated them and we got 5 1 4 8 at the end we have to uh, do the sum of these two numbers that is num1 and, and num2 and we will get the output so i hope you understood the uh, problem statement so let's jump into the coding part so let me open my eclipse here i will create a new class let me name it as cts okay let me also import the required packages java.util okay so first uh, let's take the input from user so I will create the object of scanner class scanner sc new scanner System dot in, and that's it. You have successfully created the object of an class. Now, let me declare one string variable that is s, because we will be taking the input in the form of string. And yeah, one more thing. Here in the like, while taking the input, we also have to consider these commas as the input. So this is also a part of problem statement. So we also have to deal with these commas. So that's why I'm taking uh, the input in, in the string format. So let me take the input by sc dot next line. Yeah, so I've successfully taken the input from in the form of string. Now what I have to do is 
here first thing is like I have to replace the commas that is present inside the string so let me do that I will simply use the replace method so if you have studied about strings in Java so there are many inbuilt functions one of them is replace method functions and methods are same thing so I'll be using replace method so string equal to string dot replace so here uh, in the arguments I have to pass two characters first one is the uh, the character that you want to remove and the second one is that you want to remove with so here in the first argument I mentioned the comma in double quotes and in second one I I just you know I did not mention anything so that means it will it will simply remove the comma from from the string and it will not give any white spaces so yeah so yeah uh, we have successfully replaced the commas from string now what we will do is we have to create a separate substring in which we will be storing uh, the values that lies between 5 to 8 so we will uh, create a new string here let's say s1 sorry clear this string s1 let me initialize this as a empty string yeah. so now let's create the substring so s1 equal to s dot uh, there is a function called substring and here I, what I will do is uh, we have two arguments first is the starting index and second is the end index so uh, let's talk about this uh, substring method first so in sub uh, while creating substring uh, we have to let me zoom it a little bit yeah yeah so what this will do is this will create a substring between this range so let's say our s is script learners so here let's see 0 1 2 3 4 5 so let's say we have to like uh, uh, only create a substring that will contain the script part the script word okay so here in starting index what I will do is I will simply write 0 and in the end index I have to write what was the ending index 1 2 3 4 5 so yeah so here I will not write 5 I have to write here 6 because the reason behind this is the starting index is the inclusive one like it will include the character that is present on, on the starting index but the ending, ending index is not inclusive it is exclusive so it will not uh, include the end index character so that's why I am writing uh, an incremented value of uh, the desired end index that we want to choose so what I will do is I will uh, so here one more uh, there is one more catch so we don't know where uh, the where the 5 and 8 lies between the string because the output can be dynamic every time so what I will do is there is a function 
that is called index of so i will use that index of so what it will do is it will simply return the index of the character that we have passed inside this so i will pass the starting index by s dot index of 5 comma s dot index of 8 now i have to add one here also because as we discussed that the last index the end index is exclusive so in order to get 8 here uh, inside the substring we have to add uh, one more uh, uh, value so we have successfully created the substring here so now we have the range uh, the characters that fall between 5 to 8 including both of them uh, in a in a separate uh, substring now what i will do is i will simply replace this substring from the parent string okay so what i will do is, is equal to i will use replace method i will simply pass the substring here and here simply i will pass the double quotes that means we want nothing in exchange of uh, that particular substring or character that we are uh, replacing so we have successfully replaced uh, the substring from from the parent string so till now what we have done is so let's say this this was the input is equal to we have created a substring which will contain this range uh, so let's remove the comma there because we have already removed the commas yeah now what we have to do is we simply removed uh, this substring from this one the parent substring oh, sorry the parent string so here uh, at the end what we got we got 3 2 6 and 9 so these are the values that we we got at, at, at the end okay so hope you understood uh, the program so now we have like done the uh, first half we have successfully calculated the num2 here uh, by concatenating uh, all the values that lies between 5 to 8 okay now let's talk about num1 here so we have to add all the numbers that do not lie between 5 to 8 so what I will do is I will create a for loop in i equal to 0 i less than s dot length i plus plus so now the length of uh, parent substring that is s is decreased so here it was uh, before it was 8 now it has become 4 so here it will we will get 4 here okay so we'll be iterating 4 times so what i will do is i will create a int variable sum let's call it sum And I'll initialize it with zero. Okay. Uh, so what I will do is I will simply do the subtotal here by adding uh, all the remaining values uh, that is present in the S to the sum by simply converting them into the integers. They are present in the form of characters in the string. So I'll show you one good example to convert uh, the characters into integers so what I will do is first I will access 
the particular character carrot i okay so by using carrot method we can access uh, the particular character and i will simply subtract it by uh, single colon zero so what does this mean actually so let's talk about this first so you must be knowing about ascii values so uh, every every character every integer uh, that exists have some uh, ascii values so here uh, what we have what we are trying to do is uh, here we are only dealing with uh, numbers as we all already know that the input will only contain numbers in the in the form of string so what i will do is oh sorry what i am doing is i am simply subtracting the char zero with char numbers that can be anything between 1 to 9 so what it will do in the back end is it will simply subtract the ascii value of zero with the ascii value of number so let's say here here i subtract uh 1 by 0 okay so it will simply return me 1 right uh the ascii values are here 49 and 48 right it will return 1 so that's why we we are using uh, we are directly subtracting it by colon zero so it's a shortcut method we can also do do this by you know type casting into uh, these two into uh, int integer first and then subtracting them but you know it it's it's a short trick to do this so we have successfully created the sum sum total here now what we will do is we will simply print them system dot out dot sorry print ln now uh, do the sub total here sum so here we converted uh, the sum into integer already Uh, but this substring is still in the in the form of characters or string so what i will do is i will simply convert the string into integer by using the inbuilt method that is parse int and i'll pass the substring here yes So we have successfully uh, written the code of the program. Now let's run this. So let me copy the input. So here we got the output. The output is five one six eight. Yes, that is correct. So yeah, that was all about this question. I hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe our channel for uh, more interview preparation related videos like this. We will be also covering some core and very important concepts of Java here on this channel. Make sure to subscribe uh, our channel and share this with your friends and colleagues. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye.